no more special place in the world than up there. I think it's better to you know this is a gym, like he said. You know, I've always listened to what Dave always said. The nicest thing about this video is I finally got to meet him. You know, he lives in Hardin, Montana. I bet I floated by his house 25, maybe 50 times in my lifetime, duck hunting. And I never did know who lived there, where they lived, and Dave Eggdorf. Now I heard that there was this guy up there from Montana, and everybody said, you know him? Nah, I don't know him. And anyway, we got to meet each other, and we got a friendship started, and got to meet his wife. I took his daughter's going to fish with me this summer. We'll, we'll cork his dad, said, where are you going to let nothing up the river? I'll tell you something about commercial fishing. I was talking to a guy here tonight, and I said, when we talk about the industry, I represented the sheep industry, and I still do yet today. I've been the head shearing instructor at the University of South Dakota. This is my 19th year. And North Dakota adopted the same program, so I do both programs. I go up there and I teach shears every year. And I always put something back into the industry. I was 1981 world champion sheep shearer besides fishing. So I've always wanted to put something back into the industry. You cannot rape an industry. You can't rape it. If you guys are commercial fishermen, you need to put back into it. If you guys are guides, you need to put back into it. And if you're going to get up there and if you're going to speak about the industry, you talk about everybody in this room. If you're going to talk about salmon, you need everyone, everyone in here has to be talked about. Not the commercial industry, not just the subsistence, and not just the sport fishing. Because it's everyone is affected. We all have the same disease, every one of us. So somebody that's going to represent you needs to represent every one of you. And that doesn't ever happen in a group. All of a sudden, these people raised more money. No, no, it's not done that way. You need to represent and be fair to everyone that the salmon are produced for. And the biggest thing that we need to do in the industry is convince everyone that all salmon die. People's, my daughter, getting her doctorates just her last year, finishing up, Dylan's in law school, and when she was there, liberals, they was talking about how to ban commercial fishing. Why? And all of a sudden she said, well, I have a commercial fishing license. She just said, Dad, it was the first time I know what it felt like to be discriminated against by my own friends. Sarah ended up teaching a class. Her side of the story, it still does. She got accepted. Dylan went to college. Now, how can you decide when your wife, now you tell me this, when your wife decides they give, they're going to put her to go through school to get her doctorates. My daughter, I knew she was smart because I spawned her. <laughs> you tell me how he can decide to go to law school and going to come out and he's going after her. He's going after everything he can do for Pebble Mine. He's going to be a thorn in their side in a little bit. He brought me his report card last year. He said, oh, you want to see my report card? I said, yeah. I looked at it. Five A's and a B in law school at Missoula. Five A's and a B. And I said, you slacker. <laughs> I said, why couldn't you put a little into it and got five another A? I was so proud of him, I couldn't, I couldn't even talk. That's what's coming after Pebble. Will it be too late? I don't know. If longer we can hold them off, this is what I believe. I don't believe we'll ever win because we don't have the money. The only chance we got is, is the EPA, Obama's outfit, is a little bit more well, liberal. They are a little bit more against, well, the, like the coal mines are getting shut down in Montana. It's hard to get permitting. Maybe, maybe they'll see it there. But what I'm saying is that's the only chance. But the biggest chance we have is to delay them and delay them and delay them until they get the technology so that they don't screw up our river system. Because what a shame. I get my turn yet. <laughs>